What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smojo. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here and you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that sub button. You can always hit it later on down the line if you decide you don't like me anymore. But hey, if you enjoy the content, my friend, you might as well just hit that guy. Today, we're going to be going over my girl, Scarlet, the fire queen, the queen goddess, goddess of fire. She's just absolutely immaculate, and she is the best fire wizard in Wizard City. Ever. We're gonna be going over her stats, what she can do. We're gonna be going over her gear, how you guys can get the gear and look just like Scarlet or be just like Scarlet stats wise, because you can't look like her. She's too fine. Scarlet the Fire Goddess has achieved 198 damage without a fire gulcher. That's 200% damage with a fire gulcher, my friends. But you know, poor boy Smojo over here don't feel like opening 20,000 packs and spending about a thousand dollars on this game to get a fire gulcher. I'm not doing it, but if I did. Hey, 201, my friend. Our resist is poo poo, but hey, my girl Scarlet be killing things super duper fast. There ain't no need to have resist when things aren't hitting you. You feel me? I'm killing things left and right. There is no resist. I don't need a resist. All I need is me and my damage, my friend. Me and my damage. But yeah, we got the 200% damage. Our resist is absolute dog doo doo. And we got 32% accuracy, so we not fizzling a god damn thing. Damn! On a critical rating point of view, we got about 600, 570 critical rating with 29 pierce, my friend. 29 pierce. Put up a tower shield. I bet I still hit through it. We're also rocking 95 power pip with 655 pip conversion. Now, I know there's a bunch of boo-boo heads, mainly the storm wizards that be flexing that they got max accuracy, max power pip, and 190 damage. Well, look, my friend, I could get max power pip. All I need is the rock mount now to have 100% power pip, my friend, with also maintaining 197 damage 200% with the fire gulcher 34% accuracy and 570 crit so yeah that's the girl scarlet's fire build she's absolutely immaculate and absolutely a glass cannon if you're asking what gear that I am rocking, my friends, of course, we're going to be rocking the Dragoon set, Dragoon helmet, Dragoon boots, and we're rocking the Dragoon amulet. Now, when it comes to the other gear, like our robe and such, we're rocking the Royal Fisher's dress coat. You can only get this through packs during the uh, Christmas season, meaning Christmas in July and actually when it's Christmas. I also got the Radiant Light Begard armor on standby and the Malister robe on standby, just in case I want to switch it up a little bit, depending on my situation, of course. Next, we're rocking the Fossil Avenger set bonus with the wand and the pet. Rocking the all damage thriller with Mighty. So, you know, we popping our Athame. We're rocking the Edge of the Shadow Web, mainly because of the power pip and damage that it gives. We can switch to the Edge of the Raging Daystar if we want to get 2% more power pip and a little bit more accuracy. But I usually rock this just for the flex. I also have this one with Critical Socketed if I ever want to use it. And yeah, on all of my Thames, I have Power Pip Socketed because I love power pip and I need it so very much. For our ring, we're using the the director's stormer ring it's really juicy because it gives me that six percent pierce which i love so very much i could use the executive for that one percent more damage but i lose the pierce you know i'd rather have six pierce versus one damage for our mount we're not using anything specific because we don't have the rock mount or we don't have the fire gulcher so it doesn't really matter and for our deck we're using the divine paradox deck i do have the fiery paradox deck but it has my power pip accuracy i mean it has my power pip socket on it and for my divine i have the accuracy socket on it so yeah, if you want to be a fire goddess like moi, you can just, you know, go over there and farm or buy your own gear, my friend. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave that like and don't forget to sub if you're new to the channel here. I know I made you laugh, so you might as well sub and unsub later if you never watch me ever again. But yeah, I appreciate you guys coming through. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day and peace out. Now, I do want to leave a little bit of a teeny weeny message on the video. I am starting to do a series on my YouTube channel that is called Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, it's basically every Tuesday and Thursday, I take a stitch from the community and I make a video about it. If it's good, if it's bad, what my thoughts on the stitch are. And yeah, if you guys want to be in a video, just head over to my Twitter, make yourself a post, add me in a post and do hashtag Tinder Tasty Tuesdays. I mean, Tinder Tasty Tea Days. I got to keep remembering that. But yeah, uh, make a post at me in a post at smojo sf use hashtag tinder tasty tea days and uh leave an image of your stitch and i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll show you out if you're in there so yeah i also go live on twitch if you guys didn't know that smojo underscore yt on twitch y'all boys check me out you feel me and i'll see you guys on the next video have a great day bye